Hello there, everybody. Welcome on into today's video. Greatly appreciate you taking time out of your day. Swing on over and checking on out. Orbits were here. We are doing some more videos. Um, I know I had said this when we were doing the throwback uh, series uh, that I wanted to do some lore videos for Luna. And you guys gave me some great recommendations. So we're actually going to be doing two videos, uh, one video today and then another video either tomorrow or the day after. <clears throat> but um, two uh, videos came up the most recommended. One was the Avengers of K-pop, A Story of Luna. That is what we're watching today. Right. Um, I know it is a little bit on the older side. It's like four, three or four years ago, four years ago, four years ago. So not as much updated info, um, but still was highly recommended. Uh, it is kind of like one of those um, little must watches. So we're going to watch that. Then the other video is going to be um, a long video, but uh, you'll find out what that one is when we get to it tomorrow or the day after. But we're going to be watching this one. So we got uh, 20, about 22 minutes of uh, of fun here. Now, with any kind of lore video, unless it's like told from the actual like group or company, a lot of lore is just like little bits and pieces and like our own interpretation. So it'll be very interesting to see what um, these lore videos kind of interpret the all of the MVs, all of the the um, solo MVs, all that fun stuff. So we're here. We're ready. I'm ready to go. I got a cup of coffee. Let's go. All right. Also, anything that resembles like the Avengers, I'm here for it. So, OK, read time. <laughs> Each solo has its own power. Goal. We want to be like the Marvels of, of like Marvels Avengers. Are you kidding me? Kim Lip. I actually I love her vocal tone, by the way. So good. I love Jen Soul's rap and Cherry's vocals. There's a lot I really like about this group. A lot of them I really enjoy. Great editing on this video so far. Love it. Maybe you've heard the name or maybe for the thousandth time you saw a tweet or a YouTube comment that said the words Stan Luna. Or maybe if you were lucky enough, you saw them at KCON LA and got a taste of them in person. Luna, the group everyone seems to be talking about. If you're somewhat familiar with the K-pop scene, Luna is a name that's commonly thrown around as one of the up and coming well, K-pop groups. A month ago, there. Luna made headlines by making the first ever U.S. appearance at KCON LA, and immediately the internet was in a frenzy. The majority of the internet buzz surrounding KCON yeah. was centered on Luna. For every activity, for every panel, Luna was surrounded by hundreds and hundreds of fans. Every time they stepped on the stage, the cheers deafened, and at any given moment, the crowds would chant, "Luna, Luna, Luna." Despite the many bigger names that have been around the industry for years, it was clear Luna was the main attraction at KCON. Mm, okay, all right. That's a lineup right there. The hype was such that KCON was dubbed by fans as LunaCon 2019. This is like LunaCon. Yeah, he went to. <laughs> However, despite this enormous hype and cult following, they're almost an unknown group in Korea. Ask any normal Korean on the street, and chances are they don't know who Luna is. The disparity is baffling. So, who exactly is Luna, and why the hype? Let's go. So, to understand, I like we need to go back 
all Voice the way two. back to March of 2016. A company Brave. was formed by the so name of Blockberry Brave. Creative, Brave. or BBC for short. Their objective? Oh, no. To create the Brave. most unique girl group out there. The plan was, every month or so, a girl would be revealed as part of the group, and mm -hmm. then release a solo debut. And this pattern would continue until there was 12 girls. There was an idea to bring together a group of remarkable people to see if they could become something more. This project was known as the Avengers, I, I mean, Luna. 12 <laughs> girls, Avenger. 12 singles, it's a great edit. <laughs> two years, it's a great edit. one love. Mm -hmm. A project like this had never been done before. The usual method was that you reveal all the members of a group months before the release, and when they debut, they debut as a full group, with the rare exception of maybe, maybe adding one other member, <clears throat> Red Velvet. But BBC <laughs> kept everything a secret releasing teasers and MVs like movie trailers and TV episodes. In October of 2016, Heejin, the first girl, was revealed along with her solo single and solo album. From October to February of 2017, mm -hmm. Hyunjin, Hasul, Yojin, and Vivi all debuted in a similar manner. They made up the subunit called One Third. The units have a much deeper meaning that I will cover later. From okay, May I'm to here July, for this. Jin Seo, Kim Lip, and Chari all had solo debuts and were formed in the subunit Odd Eye Circle. See, Once I love again, the, the three of them, so that's so why I think I love Odd Eye Circle. Those are top, like, some of my favorite vocals. And finally, favorite the vocals. last girl of the puzzle, Olivia Hay, had solo debuts and were in the final subunit, YY by Y. And <laughs> Olivia, by the way, holds the record for the shortest trainee period ever. Check this out. She was a trainee for one day, and the very next day, she debuted. One day? Isn't that crazy? While really? the rest of Luna was promoting, she was still a regular high school girl. She said she remembered watching Heejin and Hyunjin on TV, and... Now they're in a group together. In the span of 2.5 years, Luna has produced 62 songs, 32 of which have music videos. That, that's insane. It's a lot. It's furniture. Let's compare that to the big three groups. Twice, arguably the busiest group in K-pop, mm -hmm. they produced 17 music videos. Red Velvet had 10. Blackpink had... Uh, uh, hold on, let me talk real quick. Uh, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> Poor Blackpink. In 2016, Twice, at the time of their debut, had the most expensive debut of all time, and it approximately cost mm. JYP 500 million won, or about $420,000. Any guesses about Luna's debut? 500,000? 800,000? 1 million? Try nine times that. What? An insane $8.9 million dollars was spent US? on their debut. By the way, the Ilkong Group, the owner of Luna's agency, is a large, insanely rich corporation. They provide and manufacture arms and steel to different militaries. They're literal arms dealers, possibly richer than JYP, YG, and SM combined. With BBC funding the group, they were able to afford such a preposterous undertaking. Luna is the most ambitious project in K-pop history. And it's not a stretch to say that they're one of the hardest working groups right now. There's something special about the Luna sound, something that attracts people to it. It's true. In a K-pop world filled with cutesy, girl crush, and bubblegum pop, Luna stands as a breath of fresh air. During their two-year pre-debut period, not only was BBC establishing a strong 12-member group, but also 12 separate solo artists that could each stand on their own. And mm -hmm. these weren't just throwaway mm -hmm. songs that were just, oh, we need a single, so let's uh, whip up something generic real quick. These were quality that... songs written, recorded, and filmed to fulfill a very Cherries, specific purpose. Cherry's like, song a particular just still baffles uh, my mind when I listen later. to it. Luna was built on the concept of being experimental, built with the idea that each of the 12 girls and each of the three subunits had their own particular sound and genre. Mm -hmm. So you can't mm -hmm. classify Luna as a whole into a genre uh, because they had no genre, but at the same time, they encompassed all genres from future bass. Emotion, it still gets me. To candy pop. <laughs> to rock. Hello? To even melancholic ballads. The meme was so pretty. However, despite every song being unique, each song still had an aspect to them that made them sound distinctively 
Luna. Along with that are the music videos. Each song and MV was beautifully crafted like mm -hmm. a piece of art, which were uniquely filmed in such a way to make the viewer feel a specific feeling, but also filmed to feel the mood of the song. Every object, every outfit, every color, every word was purposely placed there to fit a specific Luna vision. To achieve this vision, that meant flying out to Iceland, Japan, France, London, Los Angeles, Hungary. First, Luna is primarily a piece of art. In your brain, you know you're watching a K-pop song, but yep. also it feels like you're watching something entirely different. Something nostalgic from a world that doesn't exist. Some alternate reality from a parallel universe. This, of course, is the Luna brand. The Luna vision. And why does it feel like we're in another universe? Yes, well, we are. that will be answered later. Part of that uh. Luna sound are the girls themselves, of course. A lot of them have proven themselves to be strong singers, especially uh, this girl. Oh shoot. Can't wait to get to her solo stuff. Um, that's a G5 if anyone's wondering. All of them have a special sound that makes them sound different from Hustle's clear vibrato <laughs> Heejin's jazzy melodic voice <laughs> Goan's crunchy voice <laughs> to Olivia's high-pitched baby-like voice <laughs> And then there's a uh, chew. Now, I'm not here to say that Luna is the oh, greatest chew. singing group of all time. No, no, not at all. I'm not claiming them to be the best singers, but they are the right singers. That when blended all together is just perfect. I love Butterfly. One now, of my usually favorites. girl groups aren't known for their complicated, elaborate choreography. Whereas boy group choreos are meant to be fast, strong, calculated, and fierce. Girl groups will be more cute and fun and just straight up sexy. Luna took that idea of girl group choreography and just said, screw it. We'll experiment <laughs> with whatever we want. Sure. In the flip of a switch, they can go from cute and innocent <laughs> to sexy girl crush. Clips. Be powerful and fierce. Which brings us to Butterfly, I love Butterfly. one of the greatest girl group choreographies of all time. So the choreography good. is complex with breathtakingly beautiful synchronizations and formations. I can speak at length to how beautiful Luna's choreo is. But the best way is to show you. I just love that move. It's so good. Notice in particular the use of space. How they traveled around the stage with intricate formation changes, level changes, and the shapes they created with their bodies. There's moments of sequential timing when movement was passed from one dancer to another. There's just so much going on, so many layers, and it all just blends together this perfectly. Guy, he gets like an it. Orchestra of dancers. Gets it. That being said, along with Itzy and G Friend, Luna is one of the best dancing girl groups in the industry. Oftentimes, girl groups will have one or two great dancers, but Luna is filled with great dancers, specifically these four. He didn't. Olivia Hay, Kim Lip, and especially this girl, Eve, who has just great technique, perfect mm -hmm. rhythm, yep. and a gorgeously fluid moveset. Any of them could be the main dancer on any group. Now, individually, Luna probably doesn't have anyone to match Chungha, Seon, or Momo, but as a single cohesive unit, it doesn't get much better than Luna. Luna at this point is less like a K-pop group and more like a religion, a cult with their own group of zealots. Now, I've seen many fandoms, but nothing quite like Luna. Inside, you feel like you're part of something special, a movement bigger than yourself, a small cog of a machine of grand design. Now, I've never seen a community so welcoming and so united, yet so bat crazy. Have you ever in your life seen a group of fans so passionate about a K-pop group? Like missionaries, 
These orbits will knock on your door, or I, I guess Twitter, whether you want it or not, and they will preach till their dying breath the holy words of Sam Luna. Now, whether you like Luna or not, whether you think that they're skilled, talented, or even interesting, there's one thing that's undeniable. That they have the biggest and healthiest meme economy in K-pop, bar none. The Stan Twitter community at this point is a well-oiled machine, pumping out jokes, cranking out memes, and getting their wig snatched. Chu's heart is adorable. I see that gif everywhere. Now, if you've been watching for this long, <laughs> chances are that you're not going anywhere soon. So I saved the heaviest topic for last. You orbits out there probably know what's coming. This next topic might be a little bit strange for the casual K-pop fan, but also the thing that makes them truly unique. Remember how I said earlier that every song and every music video in Luna had a specific purpose and vision? Well, not only is Luna a girl group, but they're all protagonists in the sci-fi universe known as the Lunaverse. Mm -hmm. The okay. Lunaverse is told primarily through music videos. With each music yep. video, we follow a central plot or story that is advanced through each sequential music video. Think like a TV series with multiple seasons and episodes, or movies of the Marvel Universe. Pretty much the same thing. Just think of Luna as like the Avengers of K-pop. This time in the shape of a Mobius strip. Inverted, please. Processing. One important detail is that the Lunaverse shares many parallels with the Bible, like the creation of Earth and the exile of Eden. Mm. But ultimately, it's a story of 12 girls in three different worlds and their journey to find each other. Oh, three different worlds. I was getting at least two during this. I thought there was a least parallel universes. The story starts out with our first girl, Jeon Hee Jin. Here we mm -hmm. witness the creation of the Lunaverse. In the beginning was the Earth, and the Earth was without color, and black and white was on the face of the deep. And it was said, let there be colors. And there was colors. Now, colors play a central theme in Luna. In fact, each yep, girl you guys in Luna is definitely told me that. Color. So Vivid, the first music video, essentially marks the creation of the Luna universe. As the story progresses, Heejin is joined by Hyunjin, Hasul, Vivi, and Yojin, just normal high school age girls who sing about high school stuff like friends, dreams, and high school crushes. Except Vivi. Vivi is actually an android from Hong Kong. And together, minus Yojin who gets lost in the story, they all make up the group Luna One Third. Wait, what? While in Hong Kong, Vivi meets a strange girl from a different world. Here, we're introduced to the second world of the story. Yeah. Odd-Eyed Circle. Kim Lip and Jin Sol, two girls with special abilities who are traveling to Earth for something. But what? We learn that Kim Lip has the ability of superhuman speed. Jin Sol, the ability of teleportation. Both of them possess what's called an odd eye, which grants huh? the user the ability to travel between worlds. There is one more girl though. Okay, Cherry, okay. Who actually Following. seems to be the most Love important this. member and the yeah, key she to portals. the whole story. I like Cherry is just a normal girl from Earth. However, through the guidance of Jin Sol and a mysterious figure, she is transported to another world. This mysterious figure is revealed to be another Cherry, but different. Many theorize that she's actually from a parallel universe. I parallel, like to that's that what I thought future, when I watched the video. as a video. guide to help Cherry yeah, on her yeah, mission. Yeah. Kind of like Hermione in Prisoner of Azkaban. She finally joins Kim Lip and Jin Sol to accomplish her mission. And 
what exactly is their mission? It's simple, to gather Luna. Which brings us to our third world. Eden. Eden. Now, okay. Eden is a beautiful, utopian world where everything is perfect. Or is it? No, video. No. Okay, hold on. Go on, go on, go on. We're going, we're here. Our mission. And what exactly Stop is their mission? It's simple, to gather Luna. Which brings us to our third world, Eden. Now, Eden is a beautiful, okay, utopian world. Okay, did kind of get in Eden in this video? Is perfect. Or is it? Sir, your video is- They could do and eat anything. Go. All except the fruit from the tree of truth awesome. and knowledge. Eve partook of the fruit and was cast out. Only then after he was tempted by Eve did Adam also partake. In Eden is the group YY by Y. Here resides another Eve, along with her friends Chu and Goan. Together they learn the true nature of the forbidden fruit, and as an act of rebellion against God and desiring to know knowledge and the truth, all the girls partake of the fruit and are thus cast out of Eden. All except one girl, Olivia Hay. Okay. The last member of Luna, left alone in this dark and dreary world. Interesting. And then it happened. Hi, hi. It was finally here. The culmination of two years, 12 girls, 32 music videos, $8.9 million, 14 episodes of Mix 9, 375 episodes of Luna TV. Yojin was still a 14 year old girl for crying out loud when this project started. Everything 14? that we've been waiting for was all coming together. All this planning for one single event. Hi Hi is the single most elaborate, most ambitious music video ever made. The Avengers Endgame of the K-pop world. As it begins, Odd-Eyed Circle scours the vast reaches of the Earth. Their objective? To unite the girls. Okay, and together, break okay. this curse which has been placed on the Earth. An infinite time loop. Cherry finds the first girl, Hyunjin. Kimlet finds Heejin, giving us the union of one third and Odd Eyed Circle. They are then joined by YY by Y, which gives us 11 girls. Odd Eyed yep. Circle gathers together for one last heroic mission find Olivia Hay. As we hit the climax of the song, Olivia stands at the edge of the world. This makes so much sense. What will become her fate. Okay. And as Eve tempted Adam before, Eve watches Olivia from below. Olivia takes a leap of faith partakes of the blood plum and makes her descent to earth. And now, Luna is finally complete. And together, they all fly high. And that is the Lunaverse. This was a heavily watered down version of the story. I barely scratched the surface. If you ever go into the lore, you'll find that the story was founded on things like string theory, Butterfly yep. effect, Butterfly quantum effect. physics, color theory, mm -hmm. and even the lunar phases. It's so complex with so many layers from the lyrics, the song, the cinematography to choreography. Everything is connected. Everything has a hidden meaning. Keep in mind that you don't need to fully understand the story and the lore to enjoy Luna. It's True. simply another layer to an already beautiful masterpiece. Now, Luna is at a unique point. Luna could be coming back any day now. And for years, the story has always been the unification of Luna. But now that Luna is united, I'm curious to know which direction BBC will take the Luna story and what exactly will happen next. Now I wish there was a part two. Now, in addition to the amazing are vocals, the impressive dance choreography, the, state the never of the ending universe. supply of memes, the stunning cinematography, the beautifully written sci fi story, a huge part of Luna is their message. Their message of love, of equality, mm -hmm. of acceptance. Love for yourself, love for your family, love for your friends, love for people that are different than you. Luna teaches us that no matter what your race is, your religion, your social class, your gender, or even your sexuality, no matter who you are, we all have the ability to fly butterfly high. Butterfly is one fly of my like favorites. If we all fly together. And together, we are Luna. Damn, what a video. Huh? My word, what? Button, please, please? Okay, all right. Who? It makes sense, it really does. As you're like, 
As he was like piecing it together, I was like, oh my word, yes. Okay, I am here, I understand. Getting little bits and pieces. Cause hot damn. And I was like, wait a second. She's an android? Like, oh my word, how did we, how did we uh, get here? <laughs> but I just love that uh, the um, like odd eye circle I didn't make the connection at first, but now that I see it, I'm like, oh, OK, yep, I do see it now. It really like they really did a really good job giving you like little hints through every single MV, including the subunits on kind of like how everything was connected to. The more and more I watch stuff, the more I'm like piecing things together. And it's so complex. He was right. This, like, the story slash lore slash, you know, theories are just massive. And I'm hoping the next couple of videos, well, the next video, it will dive in a little bit deeper. Because um, I feel like Luna's, like, lore reminds me a lot of Dreamcatcher's lore. And I think that's what intrigues me so much because I like if the, you know, I love Dreamcatcher. They're like they are now like one of my alt groups. And um, I just loved their lore through like the beginning of uh, like their uh, what era and like through all of their eras currently. So having another group that has like a similar type like lore is just like I'm like, I'm like, yes, give it to me, please. Um, somebody asked the other day in a comment if I was planning on doing a deep dive of Luna, and I don't know yet, to be honest, because I know they are still having a lot of, um, you know, battles with the, the company. So, um, and a lot of stuff is, you know, we're, we're holding strong with the boycott and to get around a lot of that stuff, it could be a little difficult doing like a deep dive, but I I don't know. I would love to do one. I really would. And maybe I I add them in and it just will be like much later. Like it would be like next year. <laughs> I have a lot of deep dives on my list right now. Um, so it would be a little bit and maybe by then they would be like, we'd be kind of like through this troubling times and everything would be solidified. Who knows? Let me know your thoughts because I have been debating this for a while because I like really, really enjoy their music and I really, really enjoy like the story that they're telling through a lot of like their MVs. And I know we've explored a lot of their MVs, but um, there's still a lot of stuff to explore with them. And so I haven't decided if I'm going to add them into the deep dive. I almost thought of doing like a little like Patreon thing, but I don't know yet. Um, so let me know your thoughts, what you would think. Um, because I'm down for one, but also trying to think of it, how I would go about it is also another um, debate in my brain. Anyways, we have more lore. Don't worry, it, there will be one more video. I think they'll bring us to like 10 videos for this Luna, like throwback series slash mini de like mini discovery of of them um but that one is going to be quite uh it's gonna be a little longer video um i was gonna break it up into two but i think i'm just gonna do the one and we're you like you'll just have to grab a drink and a snack and and follow along because i'm just gonna sit there and i'm just gonna watch them all but uh that should be tomorrow or the next day so be on the lookout uh, for that. Uh, but yeah, no, have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you for joining in. And I will catch you on that next one. Later.